120,000 people visited the Frist Art Museum in the last three months alone just to see the works of the greatest names in art history. That's a lot of folks. The newly renamed museum gets some of the credit for that surge, but mostly it's about the names that were there. News Force Terry Bulger explains. The great Nashville singer David Olney once wrote, you can moan about Monet, go crazy about Gauguin. You can rave about Degas and go silly for Cezanne. But if you want to see the blues, well, Vincent, he's your man. That's Vincent. Better known as Van Gogh. We're here for three months. You could see his flowers in a vase, and people did. You know, I'm going to see something that I've never seen before, something that's going to excite me, that's going to change the way I see the world. And we always love to have people who have never been to an art museum and who come away thinking, I have really seen something special. The crowds here doubled the daily turnout of past popular exhibits like Italian cars for the chance to be in the same room with the greats. You're looking at these individual brush strokes and you're thinking to yourself, that artist held that paintbrush in his hand and made that stroke. And so you can kind of like relive the creative process. So there's real pleasure in that. It's the names, Picasso, Monet, and the popularity that followed, like music, Sinatra, Aretha, or the Rolling Stones. It's a, an accumulation over the years of people who really just fall in love with their work and who see how they have influenced other artists, how they, in some way, stand for the, the achievements of their time. The Melon Masters is now on its way to Oklahoma City. Up next for the Frist, the Mexican Modernists. That'll open in late May. Terry Bulger, News 4.